Can you hear me now? <laughs> I think it's working. I have no idea what happened. Um, OBS just suddenly decided to no longer um, have our microphone set as the microphone and it was just on nothing. I have no idea what happened. But hey, look, we're here now. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Space is here, Santa's here, Toko's here, what's up? How are y'all? What is up? Oh my goodness, it has been crazy. Several last days. <laughs> Gotta say. Pantomime. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get into this. Yeah, it wasn't even muted. It just, the mic wasn't selected? I have no idea what happened. Like, we changed literally nothing. Oh, that's not water I can walk in. Alright. We changed literally nothing. It just all of a sudden decided... Meh. 
We're not going to have the uh, Yeti microphone selected. We're going to have nothing selected. It says default. That's it. <laughs> Meaning no audio. Yep, very strange indeed. Uh-uh. Don't bite me. Uh-uh, don't bite me. Okay. So. Where are we at, yo? We're pretty full up on everything. Um... Have oo 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 moo out. Alright. Ah! For some reason I <laughs> didn't realize that uh, this would actually start a fight, even though I'm pretty sure we fought these guys last time. Whatever. <sighs> Ten coins for one health. Yep. Totally worth the cost of admission. That did nothing. Alright, let's do a gulp. Nope. Oh, but he did take that last bit of damage, so that's good. Oh, he did too. <laughs> that's a lot of rocks. So, I have had a crazy last several days. Y'all have heard a little bit about it, I'm sure. Uh, what have y'all been up to? <laughs> y'all doing okay? As you can see, I'm a little more uh, bundled up than usual here. I've got three layers on and my uh, scarf. I have been wearing like hobo gloves at all times as well because we're keeping it pretty dang cold in here. Try and conserve electricity as much as possible. Extremely addicted to a game I recently got in December. What game is it? Have you talked about it with us before? I saw a uh, video that was talking about like weird fun RPGs to try on YouTube and um, the video was on YouTube and there was one on there that looked really interesting and think might be cool to play for Halloween. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Costume Quest, I think. It looked really weird, but also really fun. <laughs> Weather's been crazy for you too, Space? Dang! What is up with all this? Okay, what am I supposed to do? I don't know where to go, except for back, I guess. Um. Okay. It's the dead center. There's nothing going on there. A lot of snow. OSU? What is OSU, aside from the college? <laughs> Halloween is soon. <laughs> Very soon. Coming up real quick on us, huh? More snow than we did? Whew! You still have power though, right? Still have electricity? Not like without heat or anything like we've been, right? Negative 20 degrees at one point. Oof! Oh, Osu. Oh, okay. Fun rhythm game. So can I just, like, go back and... Like, go back to Rogueport, or am I, uh... I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to the end. Two ways to go, go right first. Oh, well, I went left. I'll go back in. Yeah. Okay. Still a part good. That's that's a, a, a good thing to have when it's 
super cold and snowy out. <laughs> that is for sure. Right to progress. Door you must have missed. Okay. Yeah, I didn't go and open whatever this is. Um... I'm gonna go spend that 10 coins. Get like 10 HP and 10 FP back. Why not? There we go. Cool deal. Why the warrior wear? Uh, I got badges. The first one allowed me to change my outfit to Luigi. And then the second one... What was it? The second one was Wario. Uh, so I'm wearing the Wario one now, but if you wear them both at the same time, apparently that gives you Waluigi. Uh, but I like the purple-yellow combination. I think it's fun. Yeah, it is fun, Santa. <laughs> exactly. Ah! Who are you? Ah! Hmm. We'll see if jumping on him works. Okay, sweet. Actually did damage. Eh, he only did one each, though. I don't think his butt bump is gonna do anything. Maybe... Eh, I guess we can try and... Just make sure... Nope. As I suspected. Well. I suppose we need to figure out which one is the real one. It's usually what happens in these kinds of situations. Very grabby enemy. Mm. Is he gonna steal my shit? I like my shit. Whoops. Well, I guess he wasn't real. Uh, I suppose I can use this to figure out who is real. And then I can change. Oh, I see. He's got one at the beginning there. I see. No, don't do it again. Ya ding dong. Okay. I'm thinking I need to switch out for someone who can actually do real damage. There we go. Which I'm gonna have to do now. Although I could probably do gulp for now and then switch out after the fight. So otherwise I'm just gonna waste a turn. Oh, the animation. Gotcha. Yeah, it does look like little hands. For sure. Okay, I'm sorry, Uwu Umu. I love you. You're my little baby boy. But... Ooh, Trinket's all growly. Uh, I think I'm gonna pull out Bobbery and see how he does against those kinds of things. Wolf. Indeed, Toko. <laughs> We got some woofs. I uh, actually have the door open, which I never do. Ah! Um, because Chill Pill is still asleep. And the doggos will get lonely, so I want to make sure that they can come in here if they want. Well, that did nothing. Okay, let's see what Bomb does. There we go. Did one damage. That's something. A fork. Ah. Nah. I was too distracted by the fork. <laughs> that was weird. Hey! Don't throw a rock at me. Rude. a lot more damage to me than I am to them, aren't they? Uh-oh. Okay. Ah! No! Stop it! Okay. You asked for it. There's one. Or two. And you're dead. <laughs> that was bad. 
Uh, but yeah, that costume quest looked really weird, but also really fun. Like, you play as kids uh, going trick-or-treating or what have you. And of course, your kids dress up in costume. But then, like, you end up doing battles. And when you're in battle, your costume transforms into, like, the badass, more real thing. Like, if you were in this, um... Cardboard box robot costume when you're in the battle. It looks like a transformer like Kind of silly and fun my kind of thing Get some hearts for the bubbles stuck for an embarrassingly long time in this palace in my first playthrough really So far I've only had the go straight ahead thing. I'm a little concerned about being at 24 health Hey Dubliss, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, costume quest. You've heard of it, Toko? Have you played it? I had never heard of it, and I saw it on this video. And it looks like fun. Looks like my kind of deal. Is there nothing in here? Seems a bit strange. Wonder if SP Stick of Truth took an idea from costume quest. Maybe. Possible. Just a much more adult. Oh no, this is gonna hurt my tootsies. No! My feetsies! Ouchie. You haven't played Stick of Truth yet? It's a good one, Santa. It is. Power smash him. I don't like where I am health-wise. And then he should be able to finish him off. There we go. You watch the whole series with your mom? <laughs> nice. Give me that heart. Give me that heart. Give me that heart. Yeah. Now! Three things at once? My goodness, True Master. You busy. Alright, let's do this one. Do a little damage to them all. Probably take out this guy in front now. There we go. Ooh, nice. Finally did it. Another super hammer. Another one dead. Earning me some style points back. What all are you watching, True Master, by the way? Played Stick of Truth and completed it with three of the classes so far. Oh nice, so you've done multiple playthroughs. Awesome. Yeah, I played and beat it, uh, just the once. I don't tend to play things multiple times. I feel like I focus on doing everything I wanted to do with it the first time around. Which is why I tend to explore every corner and every nook and cranny. And do lots of side quests, even on streams. Watching you fools, watching the end of a Let's Play series, looking at videos on coding, and playing NSFW games and laughing at the dialogue. <laughs> nice. That is some crazy multitasking you're doing there. I would not be able to focus on it all. Uh-oh, it's giving me a save block. And I know Santa has told me that this is basically a boss rush, so I'm thinking maybe I should heal up before I go in if it actually gave me a save block. Dialogue in NSFW games is so bad. <laughs> I bet! 
I believe it. Uh-oh, save block. What could that mean? <laughs> see? <laughs> That's just confirming my suspicion. Okay, let's see here. 50? I don't need to use 50. Poop. I need to go back to the shop and pull out some of my whack -a bumps I don't need to be trying to finish out the game without my major uh, items that I wanted to use. Das no bueno. I should probably change out my badges for things that will be more useful against bosses. Me trying to relax because people are insisting such. It's a lot of relaxing. I would get stressed watching too many things at once. Let's see, I want to keep that. Timing tutor isn't that important for a boss fight, so let's see. Having the happy hearts is good. I don't know that I would need the hammer throw. Probably take that off. I'll keep heart finder on, because if this is a boss rush, I'm going to end up needing to heal after the fight, too. Probably don't need multi-bounce. Power smash is good to have. Do do power rush. Increase attack power by two when Mario's in danger. That could be good. Quake hammer, probably don't need. Okay. Let's see, I have five. What do I want to put on? If you want your whack -a bumps you have to go back. Dang it! Maybe we'll have to go back. Do I have to go back right now? Or can I fight this thing and then go back? Relax is bleh. Listen, the alternative is watching just the stream and being alone with my mind thinking of ways to kill. No! No killing allowed. No matter what is being killed, Santa. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, uh, yeah? Do I have that? Do I have a defense plus? I've got two defend plus P's. <gasps> There's one. <gasps> yes, and that's worth five. Hey, looky there. Look at us go. You can find it, it's not that hard. The final boss of my playthrough, I had to go all the way back though. Oof. Yeah, let's fight this one and then I think go back to for a little bit. Let's see. Not super happy with where I'm at health-wise. Uh, but I suppose there's things I can try and do about that going in. I don't have a ton of my star points either, though. Not sure you want the answer to that. <laughs> Aw, I'm sorry, True Master. Who are you? I don't know, who are you? Oh my. Hello. Well, No one's disturbed me here in eons. Who dares defile this sacred place? No, who's this dragon fellow? I say, isn't that Hooktail the thing you beat before? Yes, enormous. With rather grimy toes. Yes. That shoots this fellow to a tee. What? You destroyed my precious younger sister. I wondered why she hadn't written recently. Quake in fear, mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. Bum bum bum! Go back to the heart block. Oh, true. I could do that. Gwahaha! <laughs> my first fresh meat in ages. Allow me to take my time and toy with you a while. <gasps> yes, nice. Okay. Uh, what's someone trying to throw? Oh, it's a heart. Yes, please. Thank you. Yes! Okay, let's see. What do I want to do? Do we want to just come out hot? Can we do some Earth Tremor? Oh! 
Rude. Okay. Let me think a little bit. Okay, that did something. I can bomb his little toes. Big toes, but you know. Her toes? Don't know. Do you recognize this? Uh, because it looks similar to Hooktail, like they're talking about. Hey, quit that. Ah. Poison! <gasps> Poop. I had that badge that helped against poison! Fake moans and stuff in porn games make me laugh. I have no idea why. <laughs> They're probably super weird and awkward to listen to. Okay. Can I... Power smash his toes? Yeah. Okay. Um... Goes for nine rounds. Holy moly. And I don't think I have... The uh, drink or whatever that gets rid of poisoning. Nope. Of course not. I don't have any of the items I should. Okay. Let's see. All enemies. Well, we're just gonna do a normal bomb, I guess. <laughs> Since chapter one was nine months ago, you don't get these references. Yeah, it's been way too long. We were doing, playing this every other week. And then on top of that, we stopped for a month for Halloween. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember a lot of the stuff in the early game, unfortunately. Poop. Okay, let's do... Sweet Feast. Ever do the pit? I think early on I did a couple, like, ten levels or something and then hopped out because I didn't feel like spending that much time on it. And honestly, I'm still not that interested, but... You know. Okay, let's do a sweet feast. See if we can get a little help from our friends. Alright, got me some 20 health! That's much better. Heckin' yes. Okay, let's do... Hmm... Kinda feels like a waste because it says all enemies. And there's only one. But it does say massive damage. So... Yeah, no. I think I might go for it gonna do it at the end or not at all. Yeah, I might go back at the end if we have time, but it's not something I'm super interested in doing. Ugh. Ow! He smushed me! I recommend not at all, no offense, Ratter. Uh, I am not offended. I'm not the best <laughs> at uh, getting the timing on these things right, so I guarantee you I'd probably die pretty easy once we get into those upper levels from what I hear. Okay. That's super- no, not super hammer. Power smash. Got a couple stylish points added back on. That's good, that's good. Let's do normal bomb again. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> you are tough meat, my little tasty morsels. But how will you fare against this? Probably not well. Oh, I blocked. <laughs> Still did nine damage, though. 
Eek. I feel like she would die at like floor 70 or 80. I would be so pissed if I made it that far and died. Not even kidding. Played some Captain Toad on the Wii U and there's a giant dragon who reminds me of Dusty from Stranger Things. Really? Like personality? Interesting. Um, kind of tempted to do more health if that did 9 damage with you know what I'm gonna keep doing some damage and then I'll come back to that I think let's keep doing power smash I'm gonna keep I'm gonna come back to that after this round hopefully that should work Call dibs on the dragon when it dies. We making stew, boys and girls. <laughs> dragon stew. Oh my. Wonder how that would taste. Get some of them star points back. There we go. I should be able to do sweet feast again. 70 or 80 isn't that far though, since the difficulty spikes so hard, it only gets hard at about 90. Gotcha. Okay, let's see. That would take a long time though, right? Because it counts up one at a time, not by tens. <gasps> no Discord notice! Poop! I forgot! I just got started! Poop! And chill pill sleeping! Poop! I have never gotten the hang of actually aiming this thing. And it's never been worthwhile for me. I've blown myself up half the time. <laughs> oh, you are not the easy prey you appear to be. I would never be able to show my face again if I was bested by you whelps. So I will show you the true extent of my power. Uh oh. Oh boy. This ain't gonna be good. At least I've got that hammer. Or not hammer, that uh... Mushroom. Okay, let's... Go back and do another sweet feast. Try and get ourselves some more health back again. Shit. Oh, I just barely missed that poison mushroom. Okay. Not as good, but doing better. Uh, let's do the Bob on Bast again. Missing the button. Oh, still made it. Mega breath. Uh oh. No. Sixteen. Gwaha. Do you understand my true power now? Yeah, I don't like it. Probably tastes like chicken. <laughs> It takes about one or two hours after chapter eight, I would guess, but there's no average, only about 88 fights, not 100. Interesting. Yeah, live streams. Bow the win. Okay. Um. Can use the stopwatch. Be good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do this HP drain. I think I've had this bat for a long time. Nice. Five. I'll take it. 
on average. Oh, no, no average. Gotcha, gotcha. On average, that many fights. Okay. You know what? We're doing another ball bombast. Can this be? You gonna try and step on me again? Dang it! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> I was about to talk some shit. <laughs> okay, only 10 health left. What are you trying to throw at me? It's a can. <laughs> I'll take that. Okay. See if we can't take him out. Last round. Quit burning my friend. Oh, did that end him? <laughs> the fucking stage ended the boss? Welp. No, no. Is it true? Can I expire? See them butt cheeks? <laughs> Dragon butt cheeks. Boom, baby. <gasps> Treasure. Yes, please. Starkey. Huzzah. Strange star shaped stone. Okay. The corpse just gonna stay here. It's gonna. Is that a dragon corpse? Oh, it's not. It looks like butt cheeks, though. <laughs> Don't that look like butt cheeks? Okay. We're gonna head back this way. You have the opportunity to have any job you like, but will now be working it every day for the rest of your life. No retirement. Do you take it? And what do you choose if so? Uh, I mean, it's hard to say because at some point you may really need to retire. Um, and situations change to where you know, the job that you had is no longer available in 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, whatever it ends up being. Um, kind of a strange thing to think about, but I don't know. I think uh, teaching photography is working pretty good for me. You always end up with different things. Different students come in with different ideas to get different conversations. There's a lot of variety that comes in. You get to, you know, think and make decisions and not just mindlessly type on a keyboard or what have you. Stuff like that. I think variety comes kind of with the territory when it comes to teaching. And since you're teaching art, I don't know. Being an art professor also comes with the stipulation that you are required to also be active in the art community. So that would technically be part of my job. <laughs> so I could still be an artist. It wouldn't exclude that by the rules of the game, so. Hooray for RNG, right, Dupless? <laughs> the fucking stage did it. I didn't even get to have the final blow. Undered. <laughs> you wouldn't do it, Santa? I wish there was a quicker way back. I didn't have to make a track.
Because no matter what I do, I'm going to get bored eventually. Unless for the job I say, any job I want, any time of my choice. I think that's kind of lumped into the same scenario as the you can't wish for more wishes from a genie kind of rule. <laughs> yep, understandable indeed. Being a YouTuber slash streamer for a job could be pretty varied. Yep. And that would also mean that, you know, in things where you are your own boss, I think... Let's just send me back right to there. Okay, I was hoping it would send me back way to the beginning. <laughs> I'm glad Bobbery is somehow immune to that fire. I'd love to be an artist as well, full-time. Once I have enough of a portfolio built up, I'm gonna start up an art station account. Nice! Tyler's here! Is this some more of your kind of Thai chicken curry kind of stuff? What are you making? If I ever get a job, I definitely want to be my own boss. Yep. Oops. You know... A lot of people think that and then it actually happens and they don't... For some people it just doesn't work being your own boss. Like you have to have the motivation to do things you don't want to do. Oops. Poop. You have to have the motivation to do like the minutia things you don't want to do. Even when you don't feel like it, you can't um, just put it off for later a lot of the time. Um, and normally in a, you know, kind of normal work situation, you don't really have that option because your boss requires you to do the thing, right? And so for a lot of people, being their own boss sounds like a great idea until they get to that moment where they realize that they don't have the willpower to do those things that they don't like doing without someone forcing them to do so. <gasps> Hit action commands, attack rises. Fail, it drops to zero. Is the action commands just the ones that like, if you get them, it, you get to do like the extra jump or whatever? Is that what it's talking about? Very unproductive day. Why is that? Couldn't focus. I have had a pretty unproductive several days. Um, not just because of, you know, power and all that kind of stuff, but we never get snow around here. So it being kind of snowy and gloomy out for several days has made it really difficult to focus. <laughs> Gotta say. Hi, Trinket. Look at her little face. Hi. What's it, Trinket? Hi. Good girl. Mwah. Cajun chicken pasta, gotcha. Delicious. Yep, you have to be really driven. Pepper chicken pancakes, very close space. <laughs> also at the whim of the market for income to self-employment. Yeah, exactly. And you have to market yourself, you can't just show up and, you know, do a thing because someone's already done the job of convincing people to purchase it. You have to do that part, too. Unless you are doing well enough to hire other people and now you are the boss of other people. That, too. One of the only good things school teaches you, in my opinion, is time management, even though the current schooling system itself right now is very bad time management to do. Yeah, um... That's something that school usually teaches you, and it also, like, especially in college, I feel like the entire benefit to college, even though you may not end up um, in the career that you expected, or you may not end up using the specific knowledge you learned in that required what-have-you class, um, I don't want to fight you, just let me get in that pipe. 
Just let me get in your pipe. Um, what college is really good at is teaching you how to learn. Which sounds strange, but if you think about it, it makes sense. Valuing, continuing to learn, and learning how to figure out ways to get the information that you didn't have previously is very vital. Instead of just expecting someone to tell you how to do everything. I feel like in elementary and uh, middle school and even high school, a lot of times you're just told, do this, do that, and uh, do this now, do this then kind of thing. So you're told exactly when to do everything and how to do it. Um, whereas in college, it starts to open up a little bit more and you're told, okay, you have a project due in a month. There might be a checkup in two weeks, but aside from that, it's up to you. Uh, and a lot of times it will be research projects that's like, I'm not going to teach you the information that you need to use. You got to find it. Right? So it's, uh, I think that is one of the biggest benefits that I have come across as far as higher education goes in college and stuff. Anyone looking for help with statistics? Been hard to find clients for my tutoring side hustle. Gotcha. Uh, I remember taking statistics in college and undergrad. Um, I, st I think I still got an A, but I was not a fan. Calc was just fine for me. Of course, geometry, algebra, all that kind of stuff. Just fine. Did great. Made total sense. Stats, I could memorize what formula I was supposed to use when and do it, but it just... It's like, okay. This makes no sense. <laughs> Alright, I'm just kind of walking in circles. Let's actually go talk to this guy. <laughs> Bro, imagine being able to go to college or work. I'm sorry, bud. I think the problem with employer-employee relationships in the modern world is that if automation has greatly reduced the skill gap in most professions, so employers see employees as expendable. Yeah. That is a huge problem. People are not appreciated for the work they do, they're just seen as a number. And, uh... If you don't think, do the thing, they'll find someone else that'll do it for them and, and get rid of you. There's the poison one. Alright, how am I on my items? Could probably give him one of those thunder rages. Uh, store. Thunder rage! No. Um. I need to get. Let's double check what gear I got. Ba -ba. I would much rather go to another country and live there a couple months rather than going to a college course on it, especially when it's cheaper to do that college course on the language. Oh, I see, see. Yeah. I mean, that is the best way to learn a language. Language is just to be immersed in it and you have no option but to speak it. <laughs> Had to explain to someone in a group how old, uh, older registers work because they apparently weren't taught anything at their job other than scan apply code. Yep. Really, calculus destroyed me, but stats has been more intuitive for me for the most part. See? That's, that's really interesting, how different brains work. Yeah, calc was just fine for me. I took it in high school and tested out, uh, so I got college credit for it, and then I took stats as my second mathematic credit that I had to get. 
not a fan. I also was not a fan of physics, but chemistry was just fine. Uh, IDKY higher levels of math is forced onto students when I feel like less than 1% of students are going to use it for their job after school. Yeah, up through high school math, basically, um, I feel like is useful. Algebra, geometry, there are definitely applications that you may not realize you're using them, but you are. Uh, on a pretty regular basis. But things like calculus and statistics and things like that, um, the average person is very likely not going to use any of that. Unless they specifically have like an engineering job or something of that nature. Physics has always been more interesting to me than chemistry. <laughs> See, our brains. I, I feel like physics and statistics have like some sort of similarity to them that doesn't work for me, but it works for you. And then I guess chemistry and calc are like that too. I don't know. It's interesting. Been wondering, does your hair naturally do that wave curl thing or do you style it? No, it does not. Um, my hair is naturally f pretty straight. Uh, if I get out of the shower and brush it, it will be completely straight with maybe half a wave. Um, normally what I'll do is get out of the shower and then... Um, only 10. Get out of the shower and then instead of brushing it, I won't brush it at all. I like never brush my hair anymore. Uh, instead of brushing it, I will kind of towel dry it and kind of kink it so it gets a little more waviness to it. Uh, and then this amount of wave, usually it's not this much. This amount of wave is because I put it up in like a, a swirl and let it dry like that. If my hair dries a certain way, it will stay that way. So sometimes I will uh, do like a French braid and then leave it in 24 hours. And then whenever I pull it out after that, it's got the little braid kinks to it. All right, feel better about my um, items. Had to do two years of chemistry in undergrad and hated every minute of it. Minute of it. Physics has a ton of calculus though, at the university level. Gotcha. Yeah, I never took uh, university physics, only high school physics. I did not need physics whenever I was in college, as far as credits go. And my major did not need that kind of thing. Did not require it of me. Okay, let's see. What are we at? 42, 45. That ain't too bad, but we if I take a nap, will all my star points come back? Let's give it a try. Let's do a little experiment. Only five coins, why not? So you roll it up to dry and then let it fall. I don't know how people braid hair. My father would go nuts if I tried to learn it too. Yeah, um... Yeah, I basically like swirled it and then just kept swirling until it was like a little bun on top of my head. And then whenever I let it down, it was this amount of wave. But it's got to be, I've noticed it, yeah, it did do the star points. Nice! Uh, it's got to be like a full 24 hours. I've tried doing it after 8 hours. Let it down, it wasn't very wavy, and it went flat really quickly. <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole thing. Unfortunately. Alright. You know what? We're up here. You know me. I gotta do my little side quests. I want to see what they have. I might not do any if it requires too much of me, but I want to see what they got. Uh, having a stronger physics and upper level math background would have been useful for my PhD, but I'm managing all right. Climate science is pretty mathematically intense. Yeah, I'm sure you had to take a lot of those classes. Um, initially, I was going to be pre-med. So I was going to have to take a ton of chemistry and biology 
um, but it wasn't requiring very much math. Of course, chemistry incorporates a lot of math into it in different ways, but yeah. I stuck with that about a year and then I was like, meh, I don't like people. <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with them. Uh, so I, I was going to be doing chiropractic, so I didn't really, uh, I chose not to continue with that and switched over to art and here I am. Can't do that then. Yeah, it'll look like a, if you were to try and do it with your hair, it would look like a little man bun. I was wondering, are your ears naturally ra that round, or do you style that? Oh, this is all natural, baby. <laughs> Physical geography department, the math focus isn't quite as intense as if I was in a physics department, for example. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Elusive badge, that's tempting. Newsletter. Would you please deliver the Silver Club newsletter routing slip for me? Please come pick it up at my house in Twilight Town. Yeah, it's easy to get there. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at me wasting time. That's why you come here, right? Watch me waste time. Watch me miss the pipe. I already get fussed up for doing a top knot. It would probably look pretty similar to that. Honestly. I'm trying to remember how to get there though. Is it over here? Is that door... I don't think it was over here. No, not that door. Is the door... Yeah, I think it's this. Oh, well, I don't know why. Poop! Just let me get back up there. No! Where are you taking me? No! <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Okay, this would probably be easier if I went through the grates, right? Yeah, let's go through the grates. I've been having to learn a lot about multivariant statistical methodologies with this current project, which, which has definitely been a bit tricky at times, won't lie about that. Yeah, that does not sound like it would just be a simple look it up for 30 minutes and you're good to go kind of thing. Fuck! No! <laughs> Screw you! I just barely did not press jump on time. Now I gotta do it all over again. Don't you dare. I want nothing to do with you. Should just go do a full pigtail. Suck it, Gramps. <laughs> Rebel over here, space. He's, like I said, being a rebel. Fuck! Pressed it too soon that time. For the memes. For the lols. <laughs> Just to stick it to him, kind of thing. Ooh, okay, I'm not doing the running start thing. Apparently, I can't do it. 
Fuck you! <laughs> Let me just get over there. Go in the pipe, please. No, go in the pipe, please. I'm getting hungry. I'm a little concerned because these last four or five days or so, last week or so, I've... Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is this not working for me right now? I'm very frustrated. Yeah. Fuck! I did not jump on that! I thought it hit me! <laughs> Guys! It's not fair. Die! You're going to die too! Take that, you little dick. Ah, yeah. And I even got a stylish out of it. I didn't even need the style points. <laughs> Take that. Screw you. Screw you again. Holy shit, okay, this. What I've been doing that he disapproves of is I've been combing and brushing front of hair to where it goes over the cheeks and doing a top knot as well. So kind of like little tendrils or like the side hair is just kind of brushed so it's kind of pointing forward a little bit or what are you talking about? Give me a visual. Okay, it was the mayor's house, right? I think. Is it over here? Nope. Nope, that's not the mayor's house. This is probably it. There you are, that you look like a mayor. Mario, you've accepted my trouble request. My, my. Now that's something. I hoped you'd deliver this Silver Club newsletter routing slip to the Great Tree Elder. I used to bring it myself, but this hip is really growling at me. Would you take it for me? Alright. The Great Tree, where the punies are! I believe there's a pipe in the underground that goes to there, so let's find it. Wherever the heck it is. I don't know. Maybe down here. We'll find out. Nope, not down there. <laughs> Clearly not down there. Back. <laughs> don't want to fight these guys. They're annoying. Me. Look at that. I'm not. That's all. They're only one star point. They're not even worth the time it takes to fight them. Okay. Like down here. Bye. Bye. <laughs> ah. Take that. Yeah. I don't think it was one of those. Those were the later ones. So I think it was one of these. Probably the left one. Let's see. I 
found it. I'm smart. Welcome to the Great Tree, by which I mean tourists are not allowed inside. Sorry. Hey, Elder. Well, hey there, Martio. Are you here to listen to me pontificate for a spell? Nope. But I got your routing slip. Why? Oh, this is a Silver Club newsletter routing slip. You came here to give me this. Twilight Town's mayor sent you. My last youth fountain bath there was nice, I recall. Well, this slip now needs to go to the Petalburg mayor, but my hernia is acting up. See now, could you take this to the mayor of Petalburg for me? I'm counting on you. Alright, here we go. They're gonna make us go back everywhere. Ah! Hey, Planetary, what's up? I haven't seen you in a little bit. How are you doing? How is it going? Yay, smart readers. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but I start by brushing hair over, parting it to both left and right, then take comb it down with a bit of a turn. So that it, rather than just going down, has this sort of arc shape that covers the cheek. So yeah, it kind of like swoops without getting in the way of vision. Yeah. Cool. That doesn't sound so bad. I hate when parental figures feel like they get to have a say in your style decisions. Like, whatever. You stopped updating your style 30 years ago. Leave me alone. <laughs> Played Bowser's Fear yet? Not me. Uh, Chill Pill is currently playing through 3D World, so he's probably going to get to Bowser's Fury pretty soon, I'm sure. Murphy, what can I do for you, young man? Routing slip. Huh? The Silver Club approval slip? Is that from the puny elder? That old so-and-so. That reminds me. That super blood pressure gauge I borrowed from her was great. Since then, since I'm the last one to sign this, it just needs to go back to Twilight Town's mayor. Ugh, ugh, Padui. But I seem to have caught a bit of a cold. Could you take it to the Twilight Town mayor? Thanks. Ugh, ugh. And we go back where we started. Of course. Mad again because I'm trying to look like a girl? What? There's nothing to do with trying to look like a girl. Philly. Oh, that's a. That's great, True Master. <sighs> I'm sorry, bud. It's not a fun environment to be in. Someone being so judgmental and. Quite frankly, bigoted about what they feel people are allowed to style themselves with. No. Oh, they all have one, huh? A lot of times parents feel like their children should aspire to be like them, which is a little bit egotistical, honestly. I mean, ultimately it seems like a lot of people have children. A lot of the uh, kind of incentive behind having children can be egotistical sometimes, from what I have noticed. Um, oh, that was the right guy. Cool. Uh, cause you'll notice that people are having issues having a kid. They will spend like tens of thousands of dollars to do stuff like IVF and things of that nature. Um, 
trying to use hormones and anything else they can get their hands on and whatever money can buy in order to get pregnant. But a lot of times adoption is a absolute last resort and people will just not do it. Uh, Cause they'll be like, well, we don't know what, what they're gonna be like. Whatever, you don't know what your own kid's gonna be like. The genetic makeup is always a gamble. You never know. Instead of spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to try and do IVF many, many times, and it failing many, many times, you know, why not go adopt a kid that's already born and already needs a family? Nope. A lot of times they just give up because they can't have one themselves and it's not gonna look just like them. Yeah, sounds like he's a conservative. Indeed it does. Which is funny space because he's actually a lot more of a liberal. Certainly doesn't sound like it. Yeah, glad your mom's not like that. Absolutely, Santa. Me too. Nurture over nature. Mm-hmm. Indeed. And I've had several friends who were adopted and they're absolutely fantastic people. And I've had several friends who, you know, biological parents, super fucked up and, you know, have a lot of issues that they inherited from those parents that the parents either didn't realize they had or it was undiagnosed or they just ignored it and didn't think it was a, a problem or like they had no idea it was just like a latent thing and uh lifelong issues with you know things like bipolar and um you know lots of other genetic conditions or not necessarily genetic but things that can be genetically hereditary um yeah it goes both ways uh, hello Mario, did you deliver that last newsletter? I forget what noise I, uh, voice I did for him. The mayor of Petalburg has a cold. Old tarnations and diddly dang it. Oh, but you brought this back with you. Why, thanks. You sure are a lifesaver. Oh, and before I forget, here's your reward, Mario. Please take it. 30 coins. Sweet. Age? What? We discuss longevity secrets and the like, you know. Maybe you'll join us in 20 years. Har. Yay, I solved a twobble. Huzzah. I am amazing. True, he may call himself that, but I have never heard of a liberal who cares about the masculinity of their child's hairstyle. Yup. Same. Right? Baby Yoshi is super strong. And he passed. At one point, he actually was holding Mario and... Is it Flavio? He was holding two characters on his back and still running just as fast and still doing his little hover thing. It's crazy. Watch his reactions to politics. He hates most things said by conservative parties. I don't know, man. You gotta stop being so mean. Stop being so mean to you. I got so much money. My goodness. It is possible to have political views that are socially liberal but fiscally conservative, or vice versa. Yeah, it is. Uwu Umu strongest boy. Indeed he is. He's my little baby strong boy. You can still be a liberal but be mean. Oh yeah, I know Santa. I'm just saying he needs to 
Not be so mean to his family. That's just bad form right there, regardless of your political stance. He must lift weights, that baby Yoshi. I think he does. He came out of his little egg lifting weights. He's rough and tumble, baby. Alright, we did another little side quest. So here we go. Let's go back down. Came out of the egg on rides! Yes, he did, true minister. Yes, he did. Okay, I remember coming up from here. Trinket's barking at something. I think it was this one. No. Is it not that one? Let's see what this does. Nope, not that. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Could be independent and, hate, independent and hate everybody. Yep, that is very true, Toko. Here we go. I did it! That is like the first time I have come down here to go to the door and actually went straight to the door. And didn't get lost. I, I was a little unsure, but I didn't get lost. Am I finally learning my way around this game? Regret telling him I'm ace because he's told three people without consulting me beforehand already. Jeez Louise. Why, why would that even come up in conversation? For him. Like, there's no reason he should be discussing your sex life. Or preferences with anybody. <sighs> I'm sorry, bud. It's rough. Take that. Take that. Uh -huh. And you did. Is the snow treating everyone? Uh, I mean, have you heard what's been happening in Texas Planetary? I'm not sure if it would be on the news in Australia or not, but uh, not so great here. Not so great. The snow itself is fine. It's the infrastructure that we don't have. It's blown everything up and people are without electricity, people are without water, people are without heat. Ah. Poop. Poop. Another one down. Another one bites the dust. But the dogs are loving running around in it. They have a lot of fun. I was gonna send you all some videos, but uh, Discord said my files were too powerful. Haha, <laughs> you miss me! Poop. Do, 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 do. 
Did you know that the color of Yoshi you get isn't actually random? It depends on how long the Yoshi egg is with you until it hatches. There's a table of what color you will get from somewhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe... Um, Duplis told me about that? Or True Master did. Yeah. Yep, and I got me a pinky. I don't remember what that meant exactly, but I'm happy with pink. It makes total sense for his name. <laughs> I gotta catch up on what y'all are saying. Snow is melting right now for you. Yeah, ours is, ours is, we're gonna have another freeze tonight. It's supposed to be really cold. Um, again, it had warmed up just a little bit. It was up to 20s and 30s again, but it's supposed to get down to the, you know, 10s again. Um, but then after that, it's supposed to warm up again and be fine. Remember giving that info? Yeah. That door looks like it's a thousand years old! Right, Toko? It's so old. It's a really old dick door. <laughs> this looks like a veiny dick. It's so bad. Ratter not being lost? What is this? <laughs> right? Started watching at the end of chapter four. Yeah. No worries. Sudden bipolar weather change. No, nah, it's more so about uh, corporations not wanting to spend money to prep the equipment for winter. And of course, the equipment freezing over. And so no new electricity was able to be generated and we ran out of what we had real quick because it got really cold and people's heaters were running. It's bullshit. Snow is the next coronavirus. Yep. Teacher, have you gotten... No. Um... My area... was only giving out vaccines for people who were, um... medical personnel or... high risk whenever they last made an announcement about... Um, having vaccines to give out. So... I obviously did not qualify for that. Um, although I do know some people who have started getting theirs already. So I'm wondering if I can just look in a different county and sign up in a different county and possibly get it. Um, but at the same time, I'm only teaching one in-person class once a day right now. So I would rather the people who are teaching you know, in the classroom with unmasked children every single day to get that over someone like me who's teaching adults who are required to wear face masks, required to uh, sanitize where they're sitting every time they do something, uh, whether they, when they come in and whenever they leave the classroom. Um, and we can, there's like precautions in place of you know, I'm not getting that close to the students either, so... Yeah, I feel like... That should probably go to somebody that's at a much higher risk level than I am right now. I would love to get me one, but... I don't want to take protection from somebody that needs it more than I do. Aha! You miss me! Planetary, did you see what I sent in the Discord about what happened in some apartment building? Oh yeah, the fan? It's insane. You'll see that Texas mayor's post about elect officials don't have any responsibility. Yeah! That was... Insane. Like, that's literally your job. That is the job of government. And you're saying that we shouldn't be asking you to try and help us in this time of need? Uh, apparently he has now resigned. So, good. Absolutely insane. Yeah. 
What? Poop. Should have taken out the bat. No, don't use that. <gasps> Screw you. Really should have taken out the bat. Dementia, what's up? I don't think you said hi yet. What's up? How are you doing? Oh, I never did a post. Well, I guess it's too late for that now, huh? Oh, you did it, True Master. Thank you. I, uh, clearly not up on things. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Crazy. Apparently, I'm going crazy. You both did Duplice. Yeah, I was thinking that. About, uh, little Yoshi there. Okay, let's see. His butt bounce did nothing. I think I'm gonna take out the bat. Just focus on him, and then we can deal with the Skellyman. I think hell will freeze over as Australian ends up getting complete snow around the country. Y'all did? I have not heard about that. It's not the right time of year for y'all right now though, is it? Because <clears throat> your seasons are opposite from ours, right? Okay, his butt bounce won't do anything. I don't really want to use gulp for this, but, you know. Whatever. Nah. Let's just do it. Let's do it. I can pay to refresh those stats when we get to the save block. Ding. I feel like A should be the least offensive orientation. Right? Uh, let's see. To anyone even less than hetero due to no desire to compete for mating dominance. Right? You would think. But no. People have to still be weird about it. Be assholes. Just finished Yakuza like a dragon. I need another RPG game to play. Ah! Okay, guys. Uh, I need to use the restroom. So let's take a very quick break. And then I will be RB. Hold it.
right, I am back. Feeling better. <laughs> I really had to go. I couldn't focus. Um. <laughs> Gotta catch up on what y'all were saying this whole time. You see, Toko, you may think that, but a lot of people think being ace is fake, and also most people here are anti-LGBT, so if they look up asexual and find it's part of it, I'm in trouble. Yeah. That would, uh, that's the biggest part, is people think it's not real, and they're like, oh, you just haven't found the right person yet. You just haven't found the right girl yet. No, we've met a lot of people. Just not interested. Like, people refuse to understand that. Darn it! Uh, there are people with different likes and preferences from them. Nope, not allowed. really want to fight these guys. I remember being able to just go right past them before, but I think that was uh, luck. Uh, let's do this. Do me a gulp. His butt bumps don't do anything to these guys, but a gulp will take them both out! Huzzah! My classes are still online. Are there schools that have opened without kids wearing masks? That sounds extremely dangerous. Uh, yeah, this is Texas. <laughs> yes. Um, under a certain age, they say it's not required. Makes no sense. Like, elementary school... Oh, he was gonna give me one. Dang it! I'm sorry, puny. I didn't see what it was. Um... Yeah, for some reason, to, I guess, to appease the anti-maskers, um, they have decided to make it so that if your child is under, like, five years old or something like that, they don't have to wear a mask. So a lot of, like, the kindergartners and first graders, um, like, preschool and kindergarten, definitely not required to wear face masks, um... Yeah, just a lot of the younger kids are not required. It's not gonna do nothing. Poopy! I think I'll just defend. I don't want to use more flower power. Because he's gone now! <laughs> nice. Who? I want that. Ah, poopy! Imagine being too callous for Texans, right? It's just insanity. And then our senator, Ted Cruz, has decided to go to fucking Cancun just to have himself a vacation while people are freezing inside their homes. Yeah. Later ratter. Hashtag later ratter. Ladder ratter. <laughs> Funny thing is that all the conservatives I know are like, yeah, I 100% agree with what he said. See, conservatives, best I can tell, actually view competent leadership as a bad thing. They do, though, because their whole thing is, is they want zero regulation and zero rules. It's like, you realize that means that people can just come into your house and steal all your shit and no one's gonna search for them, no one, like, there's gonna be zero repercussions for them. Uh, they can go in and murder your entire family, and nothing happens to them. That's what zero regulations, zero government, zero rules means. Yeah, you can get guns to defend yourself, but, you know, you want just the fucking wild, wild west before there was any law and regulation? You want no, uh, schools, you want no, uh, 
roads, you want no utilities, you want no, like, these are all things that come with being part of a society. And being part of a society means you take care of each other. Uh, and part of that is these services that people don't want to pay taxes for. It's like, this is... makes no sense. <sighs> Rat room break. <laughs> nice. That's perfect. Joker figure of speech. Okay. Sorry. I didn't catch on to that. Sometimes it's hard to catch on to in text. You have to understand that these- there are still millions and millions of people in America that don't believe that COVID is real. Right. Or they think it's basically just a cold. And that... Uh, you know, all of the rules and what have you are some sort of ploy to try and control them, which is like, what is it, what is it, do it, like, what is it, how is it hurting you? Literally, all you have to do is put a strip of fabric over your fucking face when you go out to the store. That's it. Why is that so bad? But of course it is super bad, apparently. Hey, here we go again! Bloop. Bloop. Alright, what do we think? Bench points are fairly high. Flower points and HP. What do y'all think? Of course you're gonna say BP Santa. <laughs> I dropped my Cheeto. It's okay, five second rule. Bro, what you mean, appease the Texas Gov or the anti-maskers. Exactly. COVID isn't real and the earth is flat. The government is lying to you. Zero regulations doesn't mean zero laws. That's what they want though. It would also mean that there are no protections for anybody. Like, there would be no repercussions for uh, firing someone because they got pregnant. Uh, there'd be zero repercussions for firing someone because you found out that they're gay. There'd be zero repercussions for, you know, discriminating against an employee and refusing them certain th rights or whatever because they're black. Like, that kind of stuff is also part of it. Um, that would all go away if you want zero regulations. Everyone I know would love to have no school and no rules and no government, just like the Wild West. Right, Space? That's what they want. And it's like, okay, if you want that, go do it. But this is a country, right? This is a nation. Space says HP, which he always says. Santa says BP, which he always says. Duplis, are you still there? I want your vote. Master, what do you think? I say BP because it's the smart choice. <laughs> Capitalism will pave the way. You know what? Capitalism is what caused this collapse in fucking Texas right now. True Master says FP. <laughs> we got one vote for each now. Mario already has DP. <laughs> what is DP? Dick power? Just give all the money to greedy corporations. They'll take care of us. <sighs> so dumb. Duplus would say BP. <laughs> mm. Dice roll. Mm. I'm tempted to do HP or BP. Those are my options. The end is your choice. Pick what you want. I know. Okay. True Master, do a dice roll. 
we're gonna choose between HP or BP. Did I say one HP? What was- no, what were the rules? What are you rolling? What are the rules? I would say, like if you're doing a d20, 1 to 10 is HP, 11 to 20 is BP. Did I say 1 HP means nothing to me? We didn't determine the rules, it's like doing a coin flip and then saying, yep, I win, without actually determining who was heads and who was tails first. A D3, there is such a thing? Heard it a D4, but not a D3. Okay. <laughs> you made the rules and then it chose BP. Makes sense. <laughs> Alright. D6. 1 to 2, 3 to 4, 5 to 6. Great if you lack the confidence. What? It's <laughs> a little backhanded. There can't be a three sided die, can there? I don't think so. Refold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. a picture of that. What does it look like? Mm. Think there is Duplis? Ah, Duplis, you are here! I was asking what you think I should do. Yeah, I want to see what that D3 looks like. Pretty sure dice have to always have an even number of sides. Or at least all the dice that I've ever heard of are even numbers, right? D4, D6, D8, D10, D12. D20, D100. Three-sided 3D object isn't possible, pretty sure. Said so some an n-dimensional polygon requires n plus one faces, so no three-sided 3D die. Yeah, 4D is- 4 would be minimum. 3D plus one. You watch an anime? No worries, Duplis. I leveled up, and everyone voted for each of the three different things <laughs> uh, on which thing to level up. But no worries. I went for BP. Could be a triangle that you spin in 2D? Maybe. Not even, but at least more three sides. My phone cannot die making a pick.
Boop. Camera's dead, but you got the pics. Okay. <laughs> I want to see that. Regular polyhedrons are an interesting aspect of topology. Simplest 3D polygonal shape is a pyramid. Yep, and that bottom surface is number four. Poop. I'm gonna burn my feetsies and then immediately land on the fire rings again. This is really annoying having to go back through this. There's gotta be an easier way to get back out of here. Ugh. This means uh, Uwu Umu's not gonna do too great against him either. Let's see if we can just... No, that's not gonna finish him off. Oh well. Yes! Ah, he even blocked that. Oh, <laughs> he only has one HP left. Uh, really? Huzzah. You did! What would you have chosen? BP, actually. Ah! Santa guessed right. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I'd immediately land on the fire ring thing. After all that, weird spherical pyramid? Told you. <laughs> yeah, you, you called it Santa. You right. You right. All right, at least it'll start me back there next time in the Discord. All right, I'm gonna take a look. Let's see what this looks like. Huh. This looks like took, someone took some clay and kind of pinched it. Or it actually, it looks like, um... You know those uh, little grips that they put on pencils to learn how you're supposed to hold a pencil? Kind of looks like one of those. Three scoring planes, yeah. And it's more rounded than a- oh no 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 no! Than a traditional dice. You know what, I think what I did actually was this. Huzzah! Ta-da! Okay. Back in here. It does exist, you are right. Poop! Yeah, we were not thinking of it in that way, clearly. doing that one. The like triple flip. It's so fun. Yeah, that is not what we were thinking, Space. <laughs> Clearly. Okay, you know what? No, I don't think that works actually. Um Ah, uh, you know what? I should have used my art thing. Let's see if Gulp does anything. Nope, didn't even grab him. All right. 
right, let's just do a s Earth Tremor. See what I mean by spherical pyramid? Yeah. Tetrahedron of four triangles, cube of six squares, double pyramid, octahedron of eight triangles, dodecahedron of ten pentagons, Ico icosahedron of twenty triangles. What is all this, Toko? For a second there, got me thrown off. No worries. Got pretty far still. Okay. Uh, I can try gulp again, I guess. Nice. Nope, I was thinking they were standing beside each other instead of behind, but that's okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna have you power smash him. He's not done! Oh, I'm gonna little ground pound him. What? I thought the bullet still got damaged. Mm. Lame. Alright. Basic 3D shapes. Oh, that's the the triangles make the faces kind of thing. Gotcha. The squares make the faces of the cube. Yep. That makes sense. Missed one. That should still kill him, though. Yes! Yeah, but 3D is a rare die. Most people substitute a D6. Yeah. I think that's what, uh... Toko was saying that 1 to 2 would be 1 and 3 to 4 would be 2 and what have you. I just jumped right over- oh no! I did not jump over this one. No, I regret my decision. Poop. I have the wrong partner for this too. How about... We just up and kill you! Five platonic solids, 48 regular solids. Curved faces make things more interesting. Yeah. That was what was throwing us for a loop, is the curved edges on that D3. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was walking straight down the center. Still probably won't do any damage to him. Oh, it did do damage. Whoosh. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, got a little bit, got a little bit. And then you can do your gulpies. 
We are insane, Dream Master. I don't think anyone is going to deny that. Nice. Alright. Let's do a power smash. Oh no, he's in the way! Um... Poop. The spin jump should hurt him more. Oh, I fucked it up. Let's see if this works. Nice! It did! So, right when I went for break, I got an email from one of the schools I'm teaching for. Cairo, what's up? Coming in here with a meow. <laughs> How are you doing? I got an email from one of the schools I'm teaching for. The one that's local, that I have to go to in person. There was a lot of damage to the building and equipment and furniture and things of that nature. Um, so yeah, they are going entirely remote through spring break. Oops, hello. Huh. Good, good. Excited for Splatoon 3. Yeah, I saw that. Looks like post-apocalyptic edgy kind of uh, adjustment to the style there. Strange. Interesting uh, adjustment to the style on that one. There was one game that looked really cool. Um, it's releasing like the day after my birthday. I'm having difficulty remembering it now. Um, but I think it was actually... It was like a mystery solving thing. It was one game and then its sequel are being released to the Switch. The day after my birthday! Pretty cool. Splatoon 2, the final test was Chaos vs. Order and Chaos 1, so... Ah, okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize those contests actually had some sort of bearing on future games or anything. I thought they were just fun events for people to t uh, take part in. Because there was stuff like ice cream versus cookies or whatever. I don't remember what they all are. <laughs> Mustard versus ketchup. That kind of stuff, right? I'm about to run out of my flower points because I keep gulping everything. Bye! Ouchie. You not dead? Come on! I'm gonna do an appeal and get some of them star points going. All the Splatfest, like Fork vs. Spoon. Yeah, those are the ones, yeah, I'd heard about those. I thought they were just fun events, not something that actually changes future game stuff. Bye. You were in Team Chaos? Nice, Tuplis. You got your thing! <gasps> 
this? Oh, I've been this way. Never mind. I thought I found something new. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> Dopes. Alright. Okay, those do everything except for the star points, it seems like. Good to know. Ice cream versus cupcakes. Didn't play Splatoon in 2019, so I missed it. Dang! That's alright. Have to go through the door up ahead. Yeah, no, we already been through this. I just thought maybe I had missed a way to get back to Rogueport quicker. And then I realized I'd already been around that way. So I went back to get my stuff. My stats all fixed back up. And save. Forward. You can't go across the water. I come from the water. I come from the water. I can't go across any water. Did that actually do something? <gasps> it did do something! <gasps> what did this do? I'm gonna be so pissed if that's the pipe I need to get back. <gasps> hey, I can be a boat! Dead end? I don't- I didn't look further past the dragon corpse. <laughs> so I do not remember it being a dead end over there. But now I'm gonna blow up this fucker. See what this gives me. Kablurry! Huzzah! Why did I not do that before? Just find it funny there are people who think they can get the biggest children's entertainment network banned. Oh, is that what the, um... What did you say it was up there? A place to stay. What did you say it was? Ban... They're wanting to ban Nick? Who's Nick? What channel is Nick? No pipes to get back. When I was at the final boss, I had to walk all the way back to get to Rogueport. See, that's super annoying. It wouldn't be so bad if the enemies that you'd already beat up weren't all back again, but... When you're leaving? They're gone, but whenever you come back, they're all back. And that took forever to get back through. Nickelodeon? Like... The actual channel, not like a YouTube kind of channel? Why are they trying to ban Nickelodeon? What the hell? For supporting Jojo Siwa coming out. I hate this country. I'm just gonna go on record. It's not gonna happen. Just everybody who is okay with and likes the fact that they did that kind of thing. Oops. See you. Is going to support them even more. Does not drive very well going straight forward. <laughs> there are other things to find? Probably not. But you know me. I got to try. He's so dumb. Is 
It's all the Karens doing it. They care more about what their pastor says than how their child is affected by their bullshit and their hatred. It's like when they tried to cancel Nike because they supported what's his face? I don't follow football, but that guy. Y'all know who I'm talking oh my goodness. Y'all know who I'm talking about, right? What I gathered has a girlfriend and revealed that to people and now people are like, She'll corrupt your children. Mm-hmm. Definitely what's going to happen. Corrupt them, not show them love and acceptance. Which is supposed to be the teachings of Jesus. Yes, Copernic. Thank you, Space. This one's really fun. Looks pretty cool in here. I like the stars. Okay, we have several doors on this bottom level, it looks like. Probably need to go through those doors. And there's several more up here. So let's see what's down here. This is the best part of chapter eight. I'll be the judge of that. Uh oh. Oh. The unseen may yet be felt. So that we, the Great Ones, be it here, be it there. I was like, huh, nice, these kids are getting people to look up to, jo uh, like, Jojo and Elliot back in the day. Any LGBT stars had their sexuality covered up by media, right? But they're actually making it a normal thing in shows now. As it should be. Okay, I found a key. Did I accidentally get the right room right away? All you see isn't all there be. Stones have power of stars. Touch it to pass through it. Oh! Touch that. Okay. <gasps> Is this gonna be a new power? No. I think that was all of them. Just made me think of the curse boxes from before. Okay, I got another key. Is this about? Four stones, twin stones, master of shadow and dark. Two are one, one is two.
blown up. <laughs> ah. Like, Freddie Mercury was bi, people don't talk about that. They were like, he asked a woman to marry him, he's straight. You know, a lot of times men would marry women just to save face or whatever. Because it was basically illegal in most places. At that time. Earlier in history it was illegal and you would be killed for it. Elton John was bi as well. And for the longest time was not reported to be such when the media decided to tell about his sexuality they listed him as gay later on which is still not what he said <laughs> that's another one that's um judged even by the um lgbt community too yeah the beard But yeah, bisexual is also not accepted or understood by even a lot of gay people either. <laughs> it's dumb. seeing LGBT turn on each other, you know I've been accused of being straight and trying to infiltrate the community. It makes no sense. What am I supposed to do? can be completed immediately, but I wanna! Spin hammer? Oh, it just passes through the red blocks. Apparently Santa's saying I can't do that one yet. some reason. Oh, are these blocks connected? Beyond Beyond, complete all seven before before. Are these blocks connected to the ones in the other room? up on the other one now. Ooh. 
Nothing. What the heck and hey? Let's go upstairs. I've got a couple keys already. Let's see what they can do. Flurry stuck down on the lower level there. There are legit people who write LGB or LGT or such to exclude parts of the community. What? The shy one hides his shape, but the stars bring balance. The shy one hides his face. Are these ones giving clues on how to solve the ones below? Straight on, straight onward. We know the stars spurn us. Destroy all in your path. Like, do not forget Stonewall, where most of the fight started was originated by trans people and that bi people have been this community's biggest representation. Yeah. Okay. This has changed. So now maybe down below, it'll just be the ones up top left. Wait, there are gay people who are prejudiced against bi people? How does that make any kind of sense? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, a lot of straight people will think bi people are just, you know, it's just a phase or whatever. Uh, and a lot of gay people will also think that. Um, I think it depends on your gender. So if a girl comes out as bi, um, lesbians will think of her as just in a phase and then she's gonna end up going back to dudes. If you are male, uh, bisexual, uh, a lot of people will see it as just a soft transition. That you're just saying you're bi because you're scared to admit you're fully gay and that the, um, you're eventually going to come out as fully gay. I had not heard of gay people being anti-trans, though. Oop. That's okay. I'm only one health down. Alright, we'll take you down. And do a backflip. <laughs> anti by anti trans gay people exist. So dumb. You're asking, asking for acceptance yourself, but you're not going to give it to others? Dumb pick a side argument, I hate it. Yep. Regardless, people think that you're really one or the other and this is just a phase, essentially. Yeah, it's a huge double standard, Santa. 
Absolutely. <laughs> He's only got one health. Watch him be like... I'm gonna try using her first. Watch him be have like really high defense or something. Let's try this. Nope, he's just super weak. See, when it comes to this kind of thing, I'm the most don't give a fuck. I think that people should generally be left to do what makes them happy. The only case where I support... Ah, I lost a coin. Uh, LGBT rights is in the case of men who transition to women and compete in women's sports. Uh, I don't know. It's tough. Let fall the weakest and that the skies lie, then build to the strongest. Oh. Then I clearly did not do that in order. I got the weakest guy last, huh? Okay, let's see what happened in here. Or maybe I have to hit these in order? The weakest was over here. Strongest was over here. Nope. Okay, we'll have to go back to that room and read that again. Hold up posting thin in Discord? Oh, you're posting something in the Discord? Gotcha. It's not really fair to be biologically female ath athletes, but in all, all other cases, I think it's fine. It also depends when they transitioned, right? So if they started transitioning as a child, then they're not gonna have the same... Like, they're not... They wouldn't have gotten the same amount of uh, testosterone during puberty that someone who transitioned after puberty would have gotten. <laughs> Let's go finish this room. <gasps> J-Mark! What's up? Right, True Master, exactly. How far in the transition, too. So many examples we have where trans female has such a dominating advantage. What do you mean, so many advantages? There are so many examples. Huzzah! I got a thing! <gasps> Thank ya! Got another key. I got another key. Boink! All right, now I should be able to go up to the other room and get that other block. But now let's take a look at this room and see what the actual instructions were. Actually gonna bed because I'm sick, but wanted to swing by. Oh, that's okay, J Mark. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, but thanks for stopping by and saying hi at least. I appreciate it. And the opposite in trans men. Mm-hmm. I think trans men should be fine to compete in male sports. It's their choice. It doesn't hurt the other competitors. I don't think someone should transition before puberty anyway. Too young to make a decision like that. You can socially transition, but feel like you shouldn't take hormone blockers. Yeah. I don't know. Clearly it's a tough, uh, tough subject. Let fall the weakest. And that the skies lie, then build to the strongest. So this guy was weakest. I think I just have to go left to right across the room. So I let fall the weakest.
And then... What does this one have? Five? We'll see. Believing that trans women might have unfair advantage in sports com competitions diminishes cis women's strength. Look at Serena Williams or Natalia Kutsinovia. Right. I mean, I know plenty of, you know, biologically male people that are super stringy and not very strong at all. <laughs> not very fast at all. And, you know, as a child, I would outpace and be stronger than a bunch of the dudes in my class. Because I was a gymnast and they did nothing. So it also kind of depends on, you know, innate just body type, too. Okay, that was five. White guy. Where are you? Eight. Yes, I think I'm doing it right. Okay. Do normal hammer. Like that one woman. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Obviously, a child doesn't have the mental development to make such a choice on average, but men are on average stronger. It's just biology. I don't know. There's a bunch of people who are trans that said that they knew when they were five. It wasn't a thing that they came to later in life. They just knew. Cis women can be just as strong or stronger than cis men. There's a lot of social expectations that don't allow for that understanding to be the norm. Right. One woman who is challenged as an Olympian because of the amount of testosterone in her blood, even though she is a cis woman. Right. There's a track athlete that people are trying to claim that she has too much testosterone in her body, that her body just naturally produces. She's not taking anything, it's just natural production. Uh, and they're trying to say that she can't compete. Yeah, it is an average. The fact that there are exceptional female athletes who can overcome physical disadvantage does not make it fair to the vast majority of female competitors who work very hard to succeed. Alright, this is the toughest boy. I think she'll do damage to him. Yeah. She did, still did four damage. Very nice. And let's take him down. Do, 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 do. That's why they go the child psychology specialist who are trained to look for the signs and they only do blockers, not the full hormones therapy. Right. There is no real standard to say that a child will be happier with hormone modifications later on in life. Testosterone creates a stronger muscle density, true, which is why I think uh, it should be a gate on progress of transition, if any. Again, space, that's why they are blockers, not the full treatment. Right. Have y'all ever seen, um, there are people who are transitioning that will take photos of themselves, like, each week or each month, uh, that they're on testosterone or what have you, uh, and show the differences, like, this is after puberty, fully grown adult transitioning, and you can see the, the changes, like, even to... It almost kind of seems like the bone structure, but clearly not. Um, but yeah, the, the changes that happen over the span of like a year of taking those um, hormones. It's pretty fascinating. I, I really like looking at those kinds of things.
Yeah, and you saw back to back. Mm -hmm. Miyamura has expressed, despite using an even stricter exercise routine since she got on her hormones, her muscle density dropped. Yeah. Hormones are a big deal. Okay, I actually need to go down to the bottom level here. Yeah, I love seeing those and just, you know, how they're able to, you know, make that kind of superficial transition, if that makes sense. The face that you show to the world becomes a bit more how you feel on the inside. I really love being able to see that happen for people. Here we go! Ta-da. Okay. I did both of those, but what about this? all seven. Oh. Complete all seven above before you can do that one. So we gotta keep going up. Ooh. Look at that bad boy. Mario, look there. I see it. It's simply massive. What could it be? That's what she said. Okay. Oh. No more doors? Alright. I did get some sort of star key. There we go. And the hints the middle line is nonsense will be much easier if you just pay attention to the top and bottom. Okay. There's one. Two. Three. Muscles do lessen, and also have seen mus multiple trans people uh, transition. The trans women I've seen their aggressive asset aspect seem to lessen even more as they go into their transition. Yeah, the hormones. Testosterone tends to make people more aggressive uh, and more likely to anger. Oh, there's two more. What am I missing? Oh, there was a room. Oh, three more. What? There's a room down here. That I thought was maybe just a hint for downstairs. Shy one hides his shape, the shy one hides his face. Maybe... I have to hide and he'll come out. Hey. Ta -da. I argue it's just as unfair to have them compete in the men's category. It's the age. Oh yeah, if you were trained as a fighter in your youth, you're gonna be more adept at fighting than someone, like, more adept at fighting as you get older than someone who's never been trained, regardless of gender. 
I'm usually when it comes to fighting mechanics, your stature and weight usually has to more has more to do with the tactics that you end up utilizing rather than necessarily your gender. So if you were small and light male, you may use tactics that seem like they're meant for females, but it's just because they could possibly be smaller and lighter. Straight on, straight onward. Destroy all in your path. Mm. Destroy. Maybe we got a bomb? I did it. Alright, there's another one. Alright, I completed all the other seven, so now... Maybe that bottom one. Well, let me do the thing. Muscle, much, muscle mass isn't that much of an issue, it's more about the body's conditioning. Yeah, I agree, Space. Um, I did gymnastics as a kid, built up a lot of muscle mass as a kid, and now as an adult, if I do any sort of strength training, I build that muscle mass much quicker. Maybe I'd actually have to put the uh, keys in for it to count as complete. Uh, I build that muscle mass back much quicker than someone who didn't uh, was not an athlete as a kid and is doing the same exact kind of muscle training as I would be doing now. There. And there. Alright. Space, are you saying that muscle memory is not a thing for females? Because it a thousand percent is. I was a gymnast and that was part of the whole reason for doing all of that repetition that we did. Muscle memory. Could already do it. What the heck? Beyond, beyond, beyond. Before, before. So, this one is beyond, said three times. This one is before, said twice. Here, let me reset. There we go. Huzzah! Complete all seven was on the middle line. Yeah. I didn't remember which one the middle line was. Okay, we did it! Ta-da! Last one. Don't worry though, my first playthrough I also interpreted that as having to do all seven before. <laughs> okay. Feel a little better about that. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that go. It's moving. Oh boy. Hurrah! And it looked like those pillars that were already outside. Oh, okay. 
Going down. What was that? Thanks for actually showing me that. If it just grum like rumbled like that and gave us no visual, I would have no idea what was going on. I may have eventually walked back in there frustrated, but otherwise, how would we know? Okay, that was kind of fun. I like having the little puzzles to do rather than just constantly fighting things. I like puzzles. There we go. All right. I think that was worth it because might as well. It's only 10 coins. I got like 500. Okay. I think this is actually a pretty good stopping point because it's 8.50 now and if we were to go into the next area it probably would be at least another 30 to 45 minutes probably until we get to another save point. So I think this is a good spot uh, to leave it off. What do y'all think? Trans women who enter powerlifting, even after lowering their muscle mass testosterone levels to a comparable female athlete, they still dominate because their bodies have conditioning from being a male powerlifter. I don't know, man. It's above my pay grade. <laughs> I don't know all the science behind it, but you know. It's whatever. We just gotta try and remain open-minded and make judgments as we run into them and not be discriminating. Okay. Yeah, that's everything. Have a surprise next time. Woo right at the start. Woo that should be fun. Sounds good. TGI youth. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for tonight. Good stopping point. Made some decent progress, I'd say. Uh, so yeah, thanks for hanging out with me tonight, guys. It has been fun. I've uh, been snacking on some stuff, but I gotta go finish my dinner, I suppose. Um, on Saturday, we will be here. Uh, since Chill Pill was not able to do his mystery stream on Tuesday, because we weren't sure what the power situation was going to be, uh, we will be doing the mystery stream on Saturday uh, for two hours, and then finishing up by playing some Mario Maker, because we want to play Tyler's Mario Maker episode that he sent us forever ago and we still haven't played. Um, night, sleep tight, don't let the dragons butt. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think that should be fun, so tune in for that. Um, yeah, Tuesday will be uh, Dark Souls 3, and then I'll be back for more of this next Thursday. All right, guys, that is it for us today. Y'all have a good evening. And like we always say, sleep tight and don't let the mystical towers bite. The puzzle towers? I don't know. See ya! <laughs>